All right, watch your footing. This is really slippery. Oh, cool. Check this out. We got a little cove. This could be a perfect spot to find creatures. Come on up. Ooh, it's slippery. You good? Yeah, watch your footing. Perfect. All right, it's going down in the... Oh, there's an eel. Nice. No, it's a sea snake. Where? Right there, right there, right there. Yes. Got it. Look at that. There's no question about it. This is the most lethal snake species I have ever handled. As the tide recedes on the Pacific edge of Costa Rica, our journey beyond the tide begins. Climbing over the washed up skeletons of trees, my feet hit the water and splash through the shallow remains of the ocean. My eyes keenly locked into every shadowy pool and my mind racing with excitement at the thought of the creatures I may stumble upon. You never know what you will find in a tide pool and that is what makes them a mystery. Today we are exploring Mogo's Beach located on the Gulf of Dulce on the Osa Peninsula. Okay, we have now landed on Mogo's Beach. Let's head up the shoreline here and see what sort of cool creatures we can find. This remote location can only be reached by boat and is very rarely explored by humans. However, we have been given special permission to walk its shoreline where we will search for tide pool residents. Coyote, so you want to tell us what's going on with this net? Yeah, I guess you guys aren't used to seeing me work with a net. And that's because in an ocean tide pool, you never know what you're going to come across. And some of these little creatures could be poisonous or venomous. And if you have to catch something really quick, it's easier to scoop it up with a net, get it in a controlled situation to analyze it, determine what it is before you actually get hands on. Worst thing that you can possibly do is get bitten or stung by something that can kill you. The crystal clear waters were swimming with fish, and the surrounding rocks were crawling with hermit crabs. Right away we were seeing all sorts of creatures, including a baby puffer fish. Look at that, I've just got him cuffed in my hand right now, can you see that? Yeah. Look at his little fins going. And one slippery little octopus. That is so creepy feeling. Tide pools are the perfect place to come across small ocean animals that have become stranded when the tide goes out. However, Navigating the remaining slippery rocks as a human is rather difficult. Well, this beach sure is making it difficult. This terrain is full of all kinds of these huge rocks. It's what I call an ankle breaker right there. Let's keep moving up this direction and hopefully come across some terrain. It's a little bit easier to navigate. As we made our way north along the craggy terrain, we went up and over a large rock formation. This is where we encountered one of the rarest animals you will ever find in a tide pool. Watch your footing, this is really slippery. Oh cool, check this out, we got a little cove. This could be a perfect spot to find creatures. Come on up. Ooh, it's slippery. You good? Yeah, watch your footing. Oh, All right, I'm going down in there. Oh, there's an eel! Where? Right there, right there, right there! I got it! Nice. No, it's a sea snake! Yes. Got it, look at that! Woo! Dude, oh, oh you all right? Jeez, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Whoa. Obviously, it's pretty slippery, but look at that. Whoa. Holy cow. That is a yellow-bellied sea snake. All right, be careful because they are incredibly venomous. Hold on, let me get him out of the net. Whoa, careful. Okay, I got him. Nice. Come here, buddy. Wow. Whoa. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, 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 he's trying to bite me. All right, I got him. There we go. Wow. Look at that. I see all those little tiny teeth in there. This snake is incredibly venomous, so I need to be as careful as possible. And wow, it feels like a fishing lure. How cool is that? These guys are usually far out at sea. He was just in this little cove here. Must have gotten stuck when the tide was going out. All right, let's take him back up over the top of the rocks here onto the beach and get a closer look. Oh man, this nice. is so cool. I cannot believe you caught that sea snake. Woo! All right, watch your foot and get headed back here. Let's go up here onto the sand. Check this out. That is the yellow phase of the yellow-bellied sea snake. Hold on, I gotta get him out of there. Come here, buddy. 
Now normally you wouldn't find a snake like this so close to shore. I'm suspecting that because it's low tide right now, he got marooned in that tide pool. Normally you'd find them about two to 300 yards out into the ocean. I have never held a sea snake before. This is so cool. Now you'll notice the shape of this snake's body is very flattened. Can you see that? And the tail almost looks like an oar. This allows them to easily move through the water. If I were to just put this snake down on the shore right here, they are not adapted to land. He would kind of just lay there and uh, be like, eh, I'm a dead snake. But out in the ocean, this guy is quick and stealthy. Now they are not aggressive, but I can't take my attention away from my fingers being gently positioned behind its neck here. One bite from this snake with as far away as we are from civilization, and I would be in some serious trouble. What would happen to you? Uh, I could potentially die, depending on how my body reacted. There's no question about it, this is the most lethal snake species I have ever handled. Now, these snakes are piscivores, which means that they hunt for fish. They have an incredibly potent neurotoxin. All it needs to do is tag a fish with the small fixed fangs inside of its mouth, and immediately the fish becomes paralyzed, and then the snake is capable of having its meal. Now one interesting fact that you may not know is that the sea snake has an incredibly large lung that runs along the left side of its body. This allows these snakes to hold their breath for a long time when they're underwater hunting. It also works like the bladder of a submarine, allowing these snakes to become buoyant and they will float all the way up to the surface. Finding a sea snake near shore is incredibly rare, and this one was likely stranded. So we decided to release it further out in the ocean to ensure that it found a safe return to the wild. Well, how epic was that? Getting up close with the yellow belly sea snake on our first episode of Beyond the Tide. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. These reptiles are a fragile part of the ecosystem that can be greatly affected by changing weather patterns. To swim alongside one in its natural environment was incredible and I hope their species will continue to thrive beneath the ocean surface so that future animal enthusiasts like myself can appreciate just how beautiful these snakes truly are. The tide pools of the world are filled with mysterious creatures, and if you enjoyed this first episode of Beyond the Tide, make sure to subscribe to the Brave Wilderness channel so you can join me and the crew on our next big adventure.